Hello guys, quick little tutorial on a blind follow inside Cinema 4D with Fimofix. So this will be a short little one. Let's jump into it. So first we'll make our spline. We'll go into our right view. And we'll just create a simple little spline. What's important here is that in the documentation, which I have next to me, I always have that when I uh, I'm working with film to learn all the parameters. That's a great way of learning things. A good habit, by the way. And uh, so, in order to film fix to read this data from the spline, you have to convert it to a B spline. So click on your spline, choose the type, and choose B spline. So now it's converted. Now film fix can read it. So next thing is. And then remember, guys, I'm also I'm using my Filmfix user window uh, setup, where I have my Filmfix UI here, and then I have my calculation window up here. So with this spline, we'll go in and add a Filmfix, and of course we need to scale it. So go into general, and let's take it from the top first. Our spline goes from this point to this point so let's first play with the length we just want to make sure we can we have covered the whole spline we could increase that a little bit more like so okay then let's play with the height and give it some width as well Okay, so in sh to have this spline inside a few effect, you need to add the spline follow, which is on your uh, objects <coughs> parameter list here. On your spline follow, you add that, and then in there, your spline follow, go to the top, and in the spline, drag your spline down, release it, and there it is. Now it's inside. Uh, the Fumafix spline follow, but you also need to ensure that this spline follow is inside the Fumafix object sources, which it is here. And what we need now to actually ignite some, to start some smoke, it's some a source, and that will be a simple source we can use for this. So add that to the scene. And let's locate it so it's right ab about the start of our sp spline here. And also rotate it. Like so. Okay. And um, make sure that inside the Fumafix object shot, you have both of them spline and symbol source. So go into your viewport. Enable the GPU viewport preview and the general. Make sure you have some frames to play with. I just add 300, that's my habit. 300. <coughs> and right now, our spacing is set to one centimeter. That's uh, pretty high for what we're going with right now. So, for faster previews, just set this bump this value up. You can follow the size simulation render. Uh, sizes down here as you uh, decrease the value you get much more detailed but also the size will go up and your simulation time will dramatically uh, increase so while you're doing pre-sims as always have it a high number and when you do final uh, simulation then lower this value let's go to the simulation tab bump up the quality time scale let's put it to 1.4 and let's see what else do we want to play with give it some turbulence at one detail levels up maybe 10 on the scale how many uh, does the scale compared to the extra turbulence value and let's see fuel disable that we don't want any fire we just want smoke and we can bump up to four let's go into the rendering smoke Let's try this bluish color here. 
So let's actually try to simulate this. Let's see what we've got. You see, it's struggling to follow the path here. So what we can do is actually go inside the spline follow. And here you have a few different things. So um, first of all, let's say stick to the spline. Let's see how much did that help. Yeah, it really didn't help that much. So we go back to human fix. We'll bump up the overall simulation on the time scale. Set that to one point six, and go back to spline follow. Then along the axis we'll bump the string up to 5, around axis to 4, and from axis 5. The slice number are these uh, green rings. As you increase those, we'll just get more rings. And compared, depending on how, f how uh, wide you want your smoke screen there, you can play with the influence radius, which is this value. So let's try to simulate again. Here you can see some of the shapes actually from the influence mm -hmm. radius, but now it follows the path. Let's actually try to decrease the rings and see what kind of difference that makes. Yeah, so it is, it is the, overall, the overall size of your of your uh, spline path. So now we get a much more smoother, smaller, curvy look here. Let's hit stop here. And let's do a quick render. Here we have your smoke. And if you want, you can go in and uh, add some lights. Remember, every time you every time you add a light, go into the Fuma Fix illumination and add your light source here. So, and of course, for some finer details, you'll go into the general tab again, bump this value down. Let's see what we got now. you see compared to before where it was more blocking blurry we have definitely some much more detail right now also the simulation has been increased to two gigs compared to four compared to before <coughs> and there uh, we had 2.4 centimeters before right now we have a spacing of 0 0.9 so let's just stop the sim here look at the render look at the details here much better. You can go with electrical. Um, you can almost make some electricity with this look. So this is uh, how the spline follow uh, path uh, works. So I hope you find this useful. Please uh, sub subscribe uh, and hit the like button. And also uh, write in the comment field uh, if you want to see a specific tutorial. I'm still uh, playing around and learning uh, more and more uh, the film effect inside Cinema 4D. As told in previous tutorial, I am used to working with it inside of uh, FreeS Max. So, but there's definitely a lot of use cases for this. So, just before I, I leave you, I just want to show you something else here. So here you see, I just built a simple staircase. And uh, this scene here, we have a camera that follows the smoke path here, down the stairs. Then I have some cylinders with a gradient map added to it to determine where I want the flame to come in. So I actually have two Fumafix systems here, one for the spline path and one for the staircase and the 
and the cylinders. So this is also pretty little cool uh, case you can use the fumo fix for. So uh, just wanna quickly show you over here. Let's see. With the staircase and the flames and the smoke will look something like this. I just forgot to actually uh, the color the smoke coming down from the stairs. I will do that in another render. But uh, here I'm just playing to see uh, how the fire looks actually on the cylinders and uh, how the smoke will follow the staircases. If you look at it, it looks really good. But and I haven't even. Um, increase the space in that much so I could get a much more realistic look by j actually just playing around with that so uh, that will be another tutorial because I will make a campfire tutorial where I'm focusing on fire itself and uh, before I leave I just want to show you one more thing and that is a real VFX case here and that is actually this one uh, this is the scene um, where I just trying to imitating uh, buildings here a few buildings then I want uh, a few bombs um, th that's gonna blow out the building and then an explosion is gonna come up with a few fix so that's gonna look pretty cool so here the explosion will happen and you can see it's breaking apart the geometry so this is just very initial test but this is just for another tutorial I'm working on so definitely stay tuned for that and I'll see you next time thank you very much